morning everybody winter's back dang it well, we got big blue fix just in time but I'm not actually using them today I'm still feeding with little blue and why well let me turn you around well, see that way out there in the distance what can you see well you should be able to see all kinds of bush and dried up grass and so on and so forth past the fuel tanks here look way out there into the bush yeah winter's back it's snowing it's blowing it's storming like a bugger so what my plan is is to feed um, well I got to give the horses a bail their feeders pretty much empty so we gotta feed the hay burners and then as far as the cows go that we would normally feed out in the field because I haven't moved them out to the bush yet um, I'm gonna unroll a bale in that corral on the other side of the horses and uh, that way they come in there and they got some wind protects protection because out in that west field where we've been feeding them it's so well it's just wide open there is no wind protection of any kind out there so we're gonna yeah feed them uh feed them in the corral how long this storm is supposed to last for i really don't know your guess is as good as mine because uh I don't trust what the fucking weatherman says anymore these days anyways. So, but, uh, yeah, here we are. Winter's back, so we're, we're feeding. Not that we wouldn't be feeding anyway, but we're feeding a little bit differently because of the damn wind. If cold is one thing, but that wind is something totally different. And so if I was using the shredder out in that field today with it so open the wind would just grab the feed and blow it away on me so I got to pull the twines off these bales and then I'll go into that corral right there uh, with this green feed bale and then I'll let them eat that for the day and then later this afternoon I'll give them another bale in that corral for uh, for tonight Anywho, gonna let you go. We'll bring you all back a little bit later. Alrighty, guys. Well, it's still a nasty friggin' day. It's been snowing and blowing all friggin' day here. Just in time for Agribition Regina. I believe. I don't know if it actually starts today. Like Monday, the 20. What the hell is this? 8th or something like that? or if the actual opening day is actually tomorrow but I know lots of the exhibitors are already there what are we doing well see that right there that's the hate to say it but that's the gut pile from uh, the cow we butchered the other day so I'm getting it now that it froze had time to stiffen up it's not solid but it had time to stiffen up I'm getting it the hell out of my yard Last thing I need is to have a bunch of coyotes and whatnot, uh, little carnivores in the yard. Sure, mocha dogs could chew on it, but I don't need mocha dogs chewing on that freaking gut pile. Uh, the scraps, the fatty blubbers and liver and heart and all that stuff. Uh, that stuff we cut out and we save for dog food. Um, CP and I used to eat a fair amount of liver but we kind of lost interest in it so now it's dog food anyways we're just getting rid of all of this stuff uh coyotes can have it out in the out in the pasture here anywho that's what's going on and then it's to feed a bale to the cows for the afternoon and feed grain to our calves deal with this friggin snowstorm it's kind of been a lazy day Dylan came out for a little bit this afternoon um, popped in said hi so yeah 
it, like I said, it's been kind of a lazy day for us just because of the weather. Could have did a lot of work in the shop, got things ready to start building on some round, round bale feeders, but there's always tomorrow. Anyway, I'm going to let you guys go. We'll yammer at you later. Well, morning everybody. How the heck you all doing today? It's still kind of stormy. Not as bad as it has been, but more than anything right now it's ground drifting the snow that we got yesterday lasted all friggin day long it didn't let up at all uh, well into the night the wind has died off now some so this morning it's been a shovel here shovel there shovel decks had to do a little bit of shoveling in front of the barn um, got lots of snow to move Uh, in the area around the stack yards here it's really built up uh, just got done with uh, feeding the cows out out in the pasture they're right over there I know it's kind of foggy and blurry but there you can kind of sort of see them back there fed them out behind the behind the barn Got to get rid of this big ass friggin' snow bank right here and pile it in such a way that it'll actually do us good, some good for the rest of the winter, which would be like a, use the snow as a snow catch. Uh, yeah, all of that fun stuff. And then I don't know what's going to be happening for the rest of the week as Daddy O passed away this morning. I just got the phone call here like an hour ago. And so he passed away in his sleep. So yeah, um, it's going to be a rough week, I'm thinking, at this point. Not too, too terribly, because we all knew this was coming. We just didn't know when it was going to hit, right? Well, it hit today. Wednesday, November the 20 or Tuesday, November 29th, I think is today. 29th or 30th, some damn thing like that. Big ass snow bank right up here. Anyway, I gotta let you go. CP's trying to call me. Alrighty guys, how the hell y'all doing today? I hope you guys are all having a better, a better week than we are here. With the old man passing yesterday morning and and uh shit that's been going on uh yeah today is not shaping up to be a very nice day at all by any means come to the barn to do some chores and thermostat blew up in the water bowl froze it right fucking solid of course so we're gonna have to get on that i've been putting the horses in the barn overnight i just let two of them out go to grab the third one and I've been putting them in the big back pen so they have a little bit of room to move around I don't know what happened but it's looking like Binford unfortunately is going to have to get put down old Binford here now beware guys this is uh, a little bit disgusting I'm warning you now That hole, how he's alive, I have no idea. But this hole, it goes right into his head. He broke his forehead bone completely out. And there is literally nothing we can do about it. And the only thing I could possibly think of is this right here. That's all gummed up a little bit. So I guess in a sense this is my fault. Because may I guess I should have cut these shorter so they weren't sticking out so far, these hinges. But yeah, we're going to have to... This is something that can't be fixed. And I'm not going to let him live through all that pain. Uh, so it's something we're going to have to deal with. This is 
this is not a pleasant video for you guys. It is, uh, what the hell, I don't even know. It's the 30th of November. Yesterday was the 29th. I'm not going to let you guys see more of that. I'm not going to show you us putting them down. What more can go wrong, right? It's been one of those goddamn years, and she's going to progress straight through, it looks like. But if anybody, I was, if anything, if that would have happened to anybody, I would have expected it to happen to Tucker because he's always getting into shit. He's the last horse I was expecting for something to happen. For fuck's sakes. Anyways, I gotta go out and feed some cows, so I don't know how much of videoing we're gonna be doing. This is gonna be a farewell rip rest in peace video for Benford and rest in peace video for my father in my dad's case it's been uh, 94 and a half years of life experience he he led a good life, did everything he possibly could for his family. Sometimes he, lots of people would have thought he was a little rough on the edges and a grouchy bugger and yeah, maybe he was, but he did what needed to be done and he believed in hard work and he tried to push that on to his, his family, his in, in my case, like myself, my brother, my sisters, work hard and hard work will uh, reward you in the end. But it doesn't come without hardship. And so, anyways, I'm going to let you all go. You probably won't hear from myself or CP until next week. We were going to deliver some windbreaks today, but now with the shit that's going on between the the horse and the the water bowl I gotta deal with that stuff we gotta get that water bowl fixed and we gotta deal with Binford so <sighs> there's always something right anyway uh, like I said I don't know if I'm gonna be doing much videoing for the rest of this week so hope you all understand by all means, please share the videos. And uh, fun, fun, fun. Let's get her done. We'll catch you all later.